Hi. Hi. I'm Zach Van Norman with Once Upon a Fan. We are your number one fan site, ah, actually. Awesome. Once so, upon a fan, I like yes. It. So, um, I just have to tell you right now, before we get into this, Emma as a character is my hero in life. Um, I have a tattoo for this show oh, wow, because of it. Oh, that's amazing. Um, in, in episode four, when she says, similar, you have to change your life because there are no fair gummers, yeah. I really took that to heart. I will probably never have this chance again to tell you this, that I appreciate your work on a very fundamental level. It has changed me as a person. I'm going to college and much other things. It means the world to me to be able to stand here and talk to you right now. Thank you. So I appreciate your work because Emma as a person is a very, she's been through a lot, it's obvious. She's been through, we haven't really seen a lot of it yet, but she seems yeah. to have gone through the gutter and yet through it all, she's still hopeful, she's still yeah. positive, she still has a good sense of humor, she's still sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Have you, what about your, is there anything in your life that you've experienced that you'd like to share with us that maybe gives you motivation or inspiration for where that comes from? Yeah, I, you know, I, I feel like as an actor, we're really, as actors, we're very lucky because what we do is sort of soak up as much as information as we can about other people's lives, you know, and we try to observe and we try our best to be as empathetic as possible so that we can understand someone in order to pretend to be someone that we're not. Right. And so, um, you know, a lot of what I did for Emma in particular was read memoirs written by children who were raised in the foster program and, and children who'd been abandoned in certain ways and um, just did a tremendous amount of research about that and reading those stories were so heartbreaking and I tried to sort of build her memories and her life off of these true stories you know and and really have vivid images that they wrote about to to fill her memories and to fill her experience so that I had something true to be relating to and um, you know I, I'm I'm a very lucky person my parents are still together I have you know I have a lot of family and um, you know and of course have problems like everyone else and have gone through certain trials in my life and um, but I feel like not on the level that Emma has mm -hmm. and and so um, my goal has been to try to connect with as many people as possible and read about as much as I can in order to try to reach people and and try mm -hmm. and to try to make it authentic so that people do feel like it's something real you know and and that that she is a true representation of, of a child that was left behind and and what that means in life and um, you know in in the in the film world, there is a tremendous amount of rejection. Even once you do well, you're still constantly being rejected. And, and so I can relate on that level in terms of just feeling like you're never quite good enough and you're never going to get every role and you're never, you know, it's like you're, you're too tall for this, you're too short for that. One person tells you you're too pretty for something and the next person tells you you're not pretty enough. And then, you know, and you sort of spend your life being told that, that there's always something wrong with you when you're in this business, you know, and, and then that, you know, that's just this business, you know, and, and I know in real life, I, I didn't have a great social life when I was in junior high and high school, I, and I can't even imagine what other people are going through, you know, if, yeah. you know, if they're dealing with their sexuality or if they're dealing with family things at home or, you know, there's right. just so much that goes on in life. And so I, I feel like what's been such a blessing about the show and the writing of the show is the opportunity to be a part of something that I, I think speaks to people when, when they're struggling and, and, yes. and gives them a way to go, hey, I'm not alone. I, I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned even going through my own therapy and, and things like that mm -hmm. is like, you know, usually what feels the worst or the hardest in life is when you think you're the only person going through it. And when you realize that you're just having a normal reaction to an abnormal circumstance, yes, it's exactly. such a relief. You yes. know, you're like, oh, this is just the human reaction to mm -hmm. this terrible circumstance. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm actually having the normal reaction to this terrible circumstance. And so I try really hard to build that into Emma and, and you know, do the best I can to relate to that. And it means a lot to me to hear that you feel connected to it. And I think that she has resonated with just a lot of people honestly I mean I think that the ugly ducklings are not maybe as loud as you know the the evil regals or so forth I think we're more quiet because we got stuff going on you know we Absolutely. got business to handle on the more fun part though for Emma she was kicking ass number one when she was yes. getting on tomorrow in the finale I love that movie. that was yeah. just great Manhattan was also a really standout episode uh, for I you love, with, the, with the character arc more and bad. that moment when you sat down at the, when Emma sat down at the bar and said I loved you that was just like that was just heartbreaking I yeah, I, I well, to, Neil mean, brings up her wounds. I mean, she's done a really good job of hiding her wounds, but, you know, and I think in life we all start to do that. We find ways to hide our wounds and cover them and, and put our walls up, and then there are those people that just disarm us, and, and then it's there. And the reality is it might be really painful in the moment, but sometimes it's better to actually reveal that wound and actually push through it, you know? And, and I think that's part of what Emma's learning in her journey is that she's being forced to sort of reveal herself now that Neil's back in her life and her parents are back in her life and all all these walls that she's put up for years are coming down and 
that means she has to deal with feelings that she never expected to deal with. And I mean, I honestly, I'm so, I, I think it's just the sweetest thing what all the Ugly Ducklings have done, you know, online and, and the, the, the forums of people that have come together to do such good things for people. I mean, when, when, I'm so lucky to get to be an actor and get to do what I love every day, but mm -hmm. it's only fulfilling if it feels like it actually After, makes a difference in some positive way. And so to see people reacting that way just means so much to me. Yeah, being part of this fan side, knowing how big the fan community is with all of you, um, I can tell you, you guys have created a huge movement, actually, among people to just improve themselves and everything. What would you want to say to your fans right now as far as Oh everything? my gosh. I, I Honestly, I mean, first of all, just thank you. I, I, it's overwhelming, the support. And and second of all, I would just say, you know, hey, how are you, man? Good. How are you? Be brave enough to be yourself, and I have to tell myself that every day. I, I think I'm, that's the best message we could have got. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you haven't been on frame the entire time. Oh, it's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, I, I, I am absolutely included in trying to take my own advice to be brave enough to be myself every day. Um, you know, the, the world is a scary place these days. There's a lot of horrible things going on, and at the end of the day, we have to remember that we're all really the same. You know, we are, we are all human beings. Things. We are all made out of the same cells and, right. <laughs> you know, and it's just like we have to be good to each other. We really do or or we're going to have some real problems. So I would just say, you know, be brave enough to be yourself and be good to each other. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.